Hey guys, it's PK Mom Life here with my April or May. May God's Glory Box. I got this on Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of afraid to open it because I don't have much of a roof on my um, front porch and it was pouring the rain down Friday and my God's Glory Box and my holler haul was soaking wet. Like you can see kind of how the packaging is warped. Sorry, I didn't show you guys it before. So I'm really excited about this month's box because there's actually a t-shirt in it. And I think there may be one in the June box too. I think it was back in there. But this is how it looks. I think it's, it. the price varies. It's like $30 to um, like mid-20s. It depends on how many you order at a time. So um, I, um, I did this last time go ahead and order, uh, I think, six boxes. And I really like this box. So you open it and it looks like this. There's normally like a wearable, a shareable, and some other item in it. And they're all like Etsy type um, items that you would find on Etsy. It's Christian artists um, from CDs. Um, I guess that you could get food. I haven't got any food yet, like snacks. Um, I've got bracelets, um, bookmarks, books, that kind of thing. So anyhow, um, um, there's open it and it has two little note cards on the front. The one, first one says to live like Jesus for it is by grace. You have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a, the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. And it's from chap Ephesians chapter two, verses eight and nine. And then, um, the front of it has, um, it says new selection, lower prices, same high quality, use coupon code SAVED for 20% off plus free shipping. I don't know um, what kind of stuff they have. I guess we'll find out. And then also you get this box from, or this um, card from God's Glory Box. It has a verse on it. Um, it says Psalms 96 Chapter 96, verse 30. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. And then it says, each God's glory box contains shareable items to give opportunity to spread the word of God's glory. And use these goods to strengthen your relationship and others' relationship with God. All right, so the first thing in here is a t-shirt. It is this is a size large, and it says, saved by grace through faith. I'm guessing this is a great t-shirt. Um, not the same verse. Yeah, this verse on the shirt is the same as on this card, so I'm wondering if this doesn't go together. And then I got this. It says handmade, and it says um, it has a website on it. It's lovegrowinspireshop.com. Is this washi tape? I've never actually used washi tape, so I don't know. Like, is this washi tape? I've never used washi tape or bought any, so I don't know what it actually looks like. Oh, it's a keychain, and it says Love Wins. I like that. I really like that. I'm going to have to put that on my key ring. Excuse me, guys. See, I'm so coughing. And then, um, let me get a drink. And there is a tube of chapstick in here, and this is Praiser. And then, it says Jesus, dude. That's funny. Let's see what. And then it has Psalm 35, verse 28 on there. Also. Let's see here what this smells like and if it's any good. I'm kind of particular about my chopsticks. I'm a Burt's Bee girl. And then the chopstick brand has a peppermint out like at Christmas time. I love it too. Kind of has a mint flavor. A little bit I can smell. And it's just like your normal chopstick. Okay. And then the next thing in here, it says you are loved. It's from Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it. 
because he can't hear his movie. You can go in the playroom and watch it if he can't hear it in here. Oh yes, it's a little it's two little cards. Oh, this would be nice to send somebody in the mail. So you got two of them. This is the shareable item. Um oh, so it doesn't open. I thought it opened, but it just says on the back it has a verse. And the verse is, For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, and then it says, like in the corner here, it says Petunia Diaries. So I'm guessing that's the company because there is like a little um, a little shaky. I think my sugar is low. Um, little business card. Petunia Diaries from your our heart to yours. How pretty is that? It's just very calming looking. And then the website is www.petuniadiaries.com. And the last thing in here, let me get it out. Oh, it's still wet. Uh, that sucks. It says the Creative Prayer Journal. It's a 21 day prayer challenge to experience meaningful conversations by, with God and it's by Kim C. Stedman. It's the front, the top of the page is look, they're still wet. <laughs> I think this is going to be good for me. It says, um, do you feel stuck in your personal prayer life? Are you just going through the motions of daily prayers? Does it seem as though the words you pray are predictable and routine? In the creative prayer journal, Cubicle Nation Escapee, Kim Stedman, leads you through a creative prayer journey to inspire you to think outside the box when you pray. As a burned out manager, Kim tells how she made the decision to walk away from her career and take her heart, mind, body, and soul home for healing. Her first steps were restoring her wan waning, waning power li prayer life. Through ideas cultivated from years of teaching Sunday school, she shares with you the way she restored her intimate and meaningful conversations with God. In these pages, you'll discover... Oh, Hold on, baby. Cool. Cool. Creative ideas and journaling prompts that inspire and encourage. Multi-sensory prayer ideas that lead to unique and colorful communication with God. Prayer prompts to help you to have less wandering and wondering. Wandering, like W-A-N-D-E-R. And then wandering, W-O-N-D-E-R. Your daily prayer time is crucial to your spiritual growth. If you are stuck again, stagnant, or just getting started with prayer, regular personal prayer time this journal is for you kids kim stedman has ministered alongside her family since 1977 and with her husband since 1984 her passion is to encourage empty nest women to say yes to themselves the motto of her blog is to repurpose and redesign your life with god as your master designer find out more about kim at her website www.kimstedman.com granted i'm nowhere near being empty nester but i am going to definitely read this um I talked a while back about um, how I needed to, you know, set more time around away aside for God. And <coughs> especially, like, in the evenings before I go to bed. Instead of watching you guys, which I normally do, or watching TV, I need to set some time away for aside for God. So, this will be a good way to start that. I really need to do that. God had, the last couple weeks, God has been st speaking to me so much. Like, um... If you guys watch my videos, any at all, you guys know I'm going through some stuff. I'm having some financial issues, and there's a lot of stuff going on also just with my personal life, um, kids and ex-husband related, um, that I just need to pray about. It's not anything where anybody's sick, anybody's hurting, or anything. It's just something I need to pray about. I need to trust God. And they... Um, I have kind of, you know, I've always known I need to give it to him. Just give it to him, and I need to quit worrying about it. But it's so hard for me to give up control of things. Like, I just, it's really hard for me. So, um, I've tried to give up control and give it to God, but I just haven't been able to. Well, this past week or so, I have really realized that I've got to give it to him. There is not anything I can do except for pray. 
He has control over my life. He has control of what's going to happen. You know, everything is in his plan. I need to trust in his promises that he's going to take care of me and he's going to take care of my kids. And that has really just kind of like smacked me in the face in the last few, you know, week or so. Um, I love smiley faces. Um, my dad was a big smiley face fan. Like he loved smiley faces. My brother and I actually both have tattoos that have smiley faces on them. Um, that are smelly faces. And we got those for our dad. Um, I think he was still living. I know he was living when I got mine. I think he was. Yeah, he was still living when my brother got his too. And then we also have Donald Duck tattoos in memory of our dad. But anywho, I dig digress. Um, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, last weekend, I think it was. I'm trying to remember when it was. It doesn't matter. But, um. When the boys have their birthdays, I always, always, always get them a smiley face balloon when we're, you know, for their birthday balloons. Just in honor of daddy. With Papa Paul, as they would have called him. You can see him right here. That's my dad right there. That's my nephew when he was little. But, um, anyhow, he, um, loves smiley faces. So I always give him the smiley face balloon. Well, um, after Keenan's birthday party, his birthday was April 10th. And I think I had his party on April 14th, I'm wanting to say. I kind of cut the strings off kind of low on the balloons or kind of high up on the balloons because the boys were just like hitting them and I was got aggravated with them. I was like, I'm done with y'all's playing with these balloons. You know, I'm cutting the strings off so you guys can still look at them, but I don't want y'all to be able to reach the strings type thing. And my ceilings are really high, so they couldn't even got on a chair and got, um, that's fine, baby, and got a balloon down. So, um, anyhow, are there still balloons in the playroom, Keenan, on the ceiling? Or did mom all take them down? Go look for mommy. So you have this one balloon. It was a smiley face balloon. When we woke up one morning. Okay, yeah, there's still some in there. But we, I woke up one morning and the smiley face balloon had worked its way into our, the living room from the playroom where they were at. Well, it just kind of was like floating around. You know how balloons do. Well, then, um, and these are the lanyard or lanyard, is that how you say Whatever the silver balloons are, they're like the foil ones. And then like that evening, it had worked its way upstairs. And it was like following us around my upstairs in my house. And I, I told the boys, I said, that's Papa Paul. He's, you know, telling us, letting us know that he's here with us. And yeah, he um, is letting us know he's here with us and that he's watching over us still. Well, you're all right. You'll just have to wait. I'm talking. <coughs> so we, um, it kind of freaked out Parker. <laughs> but Keenan thought it was cool. And at one point, like, I had went in to check in the boys. Like, they were being kind of rowdy before they went to bed. They were laying in bed already. And um, went in there, checked them. And the balloon had worked itself between, like, the wall and their bed. Right beside where Keenan is, was. So, I thought that was cool. So, but anyhow, um, that was kind of, like, my first sign. And then, the other day, I was in my jewelry box and looking for some earrings to wear. And didn't pay any attention and laid out... I'm assuming this is what happened. I don't know for sure this is what happened because I don't remember, you know, it being there. But I'm assuming that I had pulled out this pen and laid it on my tape, my dresser, top of my dresser. And um, came home that evening. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't remember this being here. And it was a smelly face pen that had like a little Donald Duck sticker on it that I actually wore at Dad's funeral. And I was like, that's too weird. I don't remember that being out there in the morning, you know, when I was getting ready and stuff. So I was, I, you know, I really felt like that was daddy saying, Tiffany, I'm here. Um, and then, um, Sunday at church, I have this, um, app on my phone. It's called Sprinkle of Jesus. And it will send you like little motivational quotes, um, scriptures and stuff throughout the day. And, um, I was sitting there in church and I had, was on call for work. So I looked at my phone and I had to, um, message from this app and it was my favorite Bible, Bible verse which is Exodus 14 14 and it says um be still and let the Lord fight for you excuse me um and that's kind of been my like my life motto for the last you know three four years um I even got the tattoo that says be still last year last it was like around this time June July last year <coughs> you walk around, walk around. You don't climb over the back of the furniture like that, baby. So anyway, I saw that come up. And that's not like a popular verse that people, you know, you know, typically have as a favorite verse or anything. Something that you see on um, like wall art and that type of thing. 
Well, then we were singing the song at church that we sing all the time. I can't think of the name of it. I just can. I just keep thinking of this one line in it, and it says, "You are my only defense." Is the the line out of the Bible, or out of the song that really touched me? And I got to thinking. I was like, you know what? God is my only defense. You know, I don't need any other defense than Him. You know, I don't need the most expensive lawyers. I don't need um, stuff to. Um, defend me and my kids you know I don't you know guys do you understand what I'm trying to say he is my defense he is going to take care of me he's going to take care of this little guy and he's going to take care of his big brother and he's going to work everything out for our good and Hello, that, I'm ta -ta -ta. <laughs> he um he just I, I know God is watching out for us and I know that within time, you know, things are going to work out for the best for us. So, you know, um, even though life can suck right now, I am blessed. And that's what matters, you know. And um, God loves me and I love God. I know God and I know that when, you know, something does happen to me, I'll be going to heaven. There's no doubt in my mind about that. So, anyhow, that's just my little touch of um, witnessing today. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, like, it's Monday, May 7th. Um, we are having rain here today, and Keenan, you're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> He's calling everybody back in front. Um, rain today and some sun. I'm hoping to walk to pick up Parker today from school, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, I hope everybody has a great day and has a blessed day. Um, give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, if you haven't subscribed to me, please give my video a big thumbs up and subscribe because um, hit that notification bell. I do do these God's Glory box and boxings every month. Also do subscription um, clothing boxes. Um, I'm on a weight loss journey that has not really done the best, but hey, it's a it's a daily thing. And then um, what else do I do? So I record about it, and then I you know this other stuff. So anyhow, um, my birthday is at the end of the month. It's May thirtieth, and my goal I'll be thirty seven. My goal is to have a hundred subscribers by my birthday. Well, it's May seventh, and I think I'm at ninety. Five, I'm wanting to say. Let me say. Um, and so I would really like to have 100 by my birthday, but my out big goal is 137. Yeah, I'm at 95 subscribers. So, um, if you guys could help me out and just subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Just help me reach my goal. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and a blessed day. And remember, God loves you. Bye bye.